What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the series. We are here in the off season. We are setting our budget for this upcoming year. Putting 40 to recruiting, 40 to training, and just 20 to discipline. Hopefully that doesn't kill us in the end. And oh, Earl Bennett decides to go pro. 4,000 all-purpose yards on the year with 41 total touchdowns. He was, he was everything, everything to us. But we're going to have to move on. Here's a look through the players that will be leaving to go either pro or just graduating, whichever one they are deciding to do. If they do uh, wind up going into the draft, we'll be seeing them on Madden. So some of them we'll never see again. Some of them we will see shortly, or, well, I guess soon. We'll see them one of these days. Anyway, this is a look through the top people that are leaving through graduation, also if they're leaving early. And then we'll look through just our team. We're losing Kovalchuk, Jackson, Gibson, Bennett. And we did not have a very good offensive line, but the offensive line that we did have was the best we had to offer. And they're all leaving. So, that doesn't say much about our offensive line going forward, but we do already have three recruits coming in. Two four-star, one five-star. So maybe we'll be all right. Bugs, Jonathan Goff, two leaders of the defense. Langford, also a very good defensive player. They're all gone. We got Corner, who is oddly enough a free safety, uh, coming in as a transfer. So we're going to look through the players that uh, are interested, and then we'll hit up some players that aren't interested as well and set up our recruiting board. While it goes through that, I just wanted to say the players that I wound up creating. Uh, you can only create 25. So I went through the top 300 recruits from this year, Pick the ones I knew the name, like I recognized the name, and then uh, I think I wound up with like five or six that I'd really never heard of, but all the same. Uh, for quarterbacks, I created Terrell Pryor, EJ Manuel, Blaine Gabbert, Andrew Luck, Mike Glennon, Landry Jones, Darren Thomas, RG3, and Jordan Jefferson. Running backs, we have Mark Ingram and Darrell Scott. For wide receivers, we have Julio Jones, Travis Benjamin, A.J. Green, Kendall Wright. Um, outside linebackers, Dante Hightower and Courtney Upshaw. Middle linebacker, Arthur Brown. Uh, defensive end, Daquan Bowers. Cornerbacks, Patrick Peterson and Brandon Boykin and Janoris Jenkins. Free safeties, we had Will Hill and Raheem Moore. And strong safety was Mark Barron. Um, now, Julio Jones, Darren Thomas, Janoris Jenkins, I made them as a wide receiver quarterback, cornerback, um, respectively, but they came into the draft as just athletes, not by their position. So, depending on where they go, they may wind up not playing those positions. So, we'll have to see. But we are going to throw a few of our extra hours at Mr. Julio Jones to see if we can... Get. He's had almost a full bar of interest, so we must not be far behind some of those people. But like RG3, we weren't very high on. We've already got two running... Or, well, we've got one running back committed, and we've already got another one on our board. Um, Travis Benjamin, he's also high. So, I thought... Might as well go after those two guys as well. And then I wanted to go after Daquan Bowers because he's the best uh, prospect out there. But instead, we're going to throw a little bit at uh, Courtney Upshaw, a little bit at Dante Hightower, and just see if uh, we can get any of these people to be interested. I'm not going to show every week. I just went through the first week, as you can see, and then I'm going to go through. We did get Julio Jones. I'll just go through and show you the players we did get instead of going through each and every week. And I believe Julio Jones and Travis Benjamin are the only two I created that wound up coming here. Everybody else went somewhere else. And that being said, 
uh, Terrell Pryor. Not Terrell Pryor. Who? A EJ Manuel and Landry Jones both did not qualify. I don't really know what makes that happen. But they didn't qualify, so I'll create them next year as like a JUCO sophomore or freshman or whatever makes them come in as a second-year player. Uh, but Terrell Pryor went to Ohio State. Blaine Gabbard, Andrew Luck went to Texas A&M. Uh, Mike Glennon went to Miami. Darren Thomas, Texas Tech. RG3, LSU. Jordan Jefferson also to Texas A&M. So they got three quarterbacks, three of the top quarterbacks for some reason. Um, to go with Gerard Johnson and Ryan Tannehill that they already have. Uh, Mark Ingram went to Iowa. Darrell Scott went to Cal. Julio Jones and Travis Benjamin came to Vanderbilt. A.J. Green, Clemson. Kendall Wright, USC. Dante Hightower, LSU. Courtney Upshaw, Auburn. Arthur Brown, UCLA. Daquan Bowers, Michigan. Pat Peterson, Florida. Uh, Brandon Boykin, Auburn. Janoris Jenkins, Miami. Will Hill, Maryland. Raheem Moore, Boise State. And Mark Barron went to Louisville. And I went and checked the roster afterward. We made Julio Jones a wide receiver. And Tech did leave Darren Thomas as a quarterback. And Janoris Jenkins at Miami is a cornerback. So, there's that. Uh, I didn't play the spring game because it doesn't do anything for you. It's just kind of a fun deal to do if you want to do it. But I didn't want to, so I didn't. But we did get to pick our MVPs, which we got Nixon and Lewis. So our quarterback and our best defensive player, our defensive end. We'll go through the depth chart here and see just kind of what we've got, which I show it here, but of course we're going to do some in the next video when we get ready to go into season one, we're going to have red shirts um, and stuff like that. We might try to move somebody around to a certain position. We might not have some of the players active that we have starting in different spots so um, I should like I say I showed it right now but it's subject to change after uh, at the end of the next video and all of that so Julio Jones Travis Benjamin are two freshmen immediately our two best receivers so hopefully we can get something out of that I did go through after uh, all this and fix the jersey numbers of the income if I didn't give all of them the number they had in college or their pro number I just gave them something that didn't look so strange like Julio Jones wearing 89 was bizarre I think I did give him 11 because I think 8 was already taken but I went through and looked at all the players that came in and kind of gave them something that looked better some of them I gave their number from college some of them got their pro number it just is what it is but tried not, and I tried to not make them look bizarre with some random number. But you can only do what you can do sometimes, right? Obviously, our defense, not a lot better than it was last year, if better at all. Our offense should be good. Our defense is going to be every bit as suspect as it was last year, maybe more so. Right there, I tried to start corner, and it took me a minute to figure out why I couldn't. But it's because he's a transfer. He has to set out a year. So, anyway. I did get that figured out. It finally, finally clicked for me there. So we still have Hamilton. We got a freshman strong safety. He's our best strong safety. Sheldon Menhew. So we may have a lot of freshmen starting. I'm not really sure. Um, uh, it had Julio Jones as a kick returner. But I wanted Travis Benjamin. I mean, he's got the speed for days. 99 speed. He's a little guy, but he's fast. So we put him back there. Kind of trend and holiday style. Get into the preseason polls here, and as uh, we scroll down through here, you'll see several teams that we beat last year that are ahead of us, and we end at 26. Disrespectful. We have to do something about that, and we will coming soon. See you there. Y'all do it to it.